big knot right here on the right upper part of your neck. Feel that right there? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. That's that. Oh, yeah. Like a ball, I'm almost gonna see it in like a circle there. Yeah. That knot there. I can definitely tell there's not the pain back there that was before. Whew, jeez. This is where I usually start doing my Warner Brothers frog dance. Mm -hmm. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime girls. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. Tell me about yourself. I know you uh, have been having some scapular grinding. You were showing me a little bit when you round your shoulder forward and move it around, and you've been feeling some tightness and some yep. I'll get some pain in my mid scap, and then I can get it to grind, but then I'll also get some numbness and tingling coming into my top of the back of my shoulder, then up even into the neck over into here. How long, you said, is it eight years? Yes, at least eight years. Okay, and did you, do you remember anything around that time? Nothing no, significant? No, um, no really injury at all or trauma no that I can remember. No, nothing like that at all. Tell me about your, I'm just curious, what, tell me about your high school years, your formative years, in your teenage years or 20s, what activities were you doing primarily? Uh, typical, always involved in a sport, okay. football, basketball, track, baseball, year round, Got weightlifting, it year round. Okay, so um, athlete, you're, yes. you're working your spine out a lot, and I think about, you know, tires on your car. If you're if you're going to be an athlete, you got to have a mechanic, and many times, you know, I, you, you told me earlier, you've never been adjusted before? Yep. Okay, so you've, I'd say that's actually pretty impressive you made as far as you've made it, you know, <laughs> because, like, I've, I've gone without changing my oil. You know, you got to have a mechanic checking out your spine, ensuring that it works as a team. It's easy for us to get to age and we end up losing most of our spine in terms of its participation. Mm -hmm. And so today we're gonna to go through, make sure you have the areas around the lower neck working. So like I was saying earlier, the lower neck controls the scapula, controls the shoulder, controls down the arm. Mm -hmm. And it's really when we're feeling pain or distress in this area, it means that the lower neck is asking for help. Mm -hmm. Pain is a kind of a call to action. Your body or even symptoms are numbness or tingling. Those are all to me, check engine lights yeah. and what we find is that typically the upper neck the atlas and axis up here aren't working properly that makes the lower neck overwork and then the alignment that keeps your upper neck working is wrong and then so that, that keeps your upper neck tight and then makes makes the lower neck end up working too hard uh, anything going down the legs anything lower back nope nothing, no, else? nothing going down the legs at all i'll get some low back pain rarely but usually it's better than a day or two okay I'll show you later that tip's a little all right. Now, if you look up slowly, is it any pain? When does it? So about right there. Right about there, it starts to hurt. Yep. In the lower neck. Uh, nope. To the right. Right. Right about there. In the shoulder blade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right about there. Okay. Just again, one more time. Yeah. Right about there. Right there. So when when you, you look straight forward for me, when you begin to bend your head back, if you notice that your skin actually creases primarily right here. If I mm -hmm. showed you on a picture of yourself or your wife, his neck creases are right here. And so all the bending is happening here. So start letting your head go back. It bends almost exclusively here. What we need, it's like almost like a piece of paper. All the bending back and forth is happening in the same crease, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so because your upper neck is not moving properly, the lower neck is hypermobile. And then that, like I was showing you on that poster, the joints in your lower neck give you symptoms in the shoulder blade. Okay. So it's, a, it's just your lower neck is what we call hypermobile. And it's not under your control to decide where your neck bends. It's simply, this is the loosest part of your spine. And that's why you're going to see me beating up the areas around. We're going to leave the lower neck alone. It doesn't need any further stress. It needs to be put into a retirement. <laughs> you understand? Yep. Early retirement as we uh, wake up the parts that are not moving that are the cause for why that's overworking. First adjustment. I, oh, my gosh. I, uh, I can't imagine. It's like... I've never brushed my teeth. We're going to go gentle. Here we go. Deep breath in. A little sit up for me. We're going to go easy. A little sit up. Help me. Sit up. Head back for me. Just let the air out. Go easy. Here we go. Good. Deep breath in. I got you. A couple little bones there. Exhale. Let the chest relax. I got you. Yeah. Real tight in there. Take a deep breath in. One more. Exhale. Yeah, we got work to do. Okay. We'll get it. Stay right there for it. Okay. side big knot right here on the right upper part of your neck feel that right there mm -hmm. Ooh, there's almost nothing on the left this is what I was trying to say because of the head your head is essentially tilted to the left 
So now your bones are level, but I had to tilt you to the right to make your bones level. When I have your head straight with your torso, it's sticking out on the right. That just compensation that over the years? Correct. You as we make this go away, as we untangle this, you won't feel the drift to go to your left all the time. It's this knot right here that's the problem. Right there. And then even with that, even with the tilting, you're still hitting the nerve, which, which shows me that's why you've made it this far, that the problem's grown, that even though you're tilting away from it, it's still grown big enough that now you're, even with tilting away from it, it's still now hitting the nerve. The, the, you know, it's, it's not enough. So we, it's time to start facing the problem. The problem's all this right here. It's all, I mean, whatever you want to call that, <laughs> jammed up. And then the, what you were saying earlier, the attachments up here, so mm. the, the muscles of your neck have roots in your shoulder blade, but they also attach up on the occiput. So the muscles are trying to protect and tighten the areas to stiffen them to make them feel better. There we go, easy, easy. You know, it's, it's just a compensation. Your body's trying to protect areas that have been injured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like butter over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just to politely I say I'm getting older. Well. <laughs> Part of your spine is getting older at a much faster rate than the rest of you. So part of your spine, I actually say something like 80% of your back is probably 25 years old, but 20% of your back is 75 years old. And so if we only utilize the older parts of our spine, we're going to feel old. But the good news is if we mechanically wake up the young parts, you can feel young again. You don't get to choose where you bend. It's not under conscious control. Like, let me... Let me stop bending in my lower neck and let me start bending more in my upper neck. It's not how it works. <laughs> we have to mechanically, um, from the outside in, restore joint suppleness to the areas that are young. And because they haven't been moving, they're not going to exactly embrace me with open arms and enjoy me waking them up and getting them working again. They, Ed, I was a little sore the next day. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be sore as we wake up the parts that are frozen. Push those ribs down. Those are the ribs in our upper back that rise up right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let that go. There you go. It's like in guard mode. Your body's like expecting another collision. You know, when you have an injury, your body expects it to happen again, so it puts up walls of fortification to protect itself and now we have to try to tell your body it's not going to happen again and hopefully that's the truth. <laughs> I'm not going to collide with another guy in football anymore or whatever. Baby adjustment. We're not trying to move every bone. We're just trying to loosen this top guy real gentle. Here we go. Easy, easy. Just this top guy a little bit. There it is. Already moving. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's all it is. Your first adjustment. Real gentle. I got you. Very nice. You okay? Yeah, very nice. He's been ready his whole life for this. Adjustment is a tool to quickly accomplish the goal of loosening these joints. It's a much faster way of making the spine supple so that the stretching that I'm going to show you at the end of the visit will actually work. Otherwise, I would just give people stretches and be on your way, but if your spine is very stiff, it won't stretch to a mold. It won't actually conform to it. And so uh, that took chiropractors about 100 years to realize that to change posture, we have to stretch. We can't accomplish it through just clicking bones. The ligaments that wrap the spine have to be affected and then in order to do that safely we have to make the spine limber make it supple and then at the end of the visit we'll stretch and mold i'll show you as, as odd as this feels like you know like my i have really strong thumbs and there's way too much resistance right here <laughs> right i'm asking i'm asking his neck to be curved and his neck wants no part of it <laughs> and that's why he has the symptoms he's describing 
If this was easy, I'd be confused. Like, wow, wait, I got you, I got you. This is home. As odd as that feels, I need this um, being easy, being, you know, no difficulty. If I'm ever going too hard, please let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm a very greedy chiropractor. I want as much as I think you can handle, but everybody's a little different. I gotta. All right, he's pretty tough. He's pretty tough, huh? Pretty tough guy. Yeah, I'm learning him. I'm still today's a little getting to know each other a little bit. I'm still figuring him out, but I'm, I keep I push him. I'm pushing him to see how he if I start seeing his toes twitch or something. Okay, a little too far, a little too quick. I'm, I'm still learning you. But yeah, right there, that whatever you want to call that that uh, injury, I would call it. Not you know. It's been there for a while. Been there for a while. Yeah, it comes out. This is the gua sha. So it's a little comb. The Chinese figured out you can just kind of comb the tissue. And when there's lactic acid or what we call cellular exhaust or inflammation of whatever you want to call it that gets trapped in these areas, that contributes to an aspect of why it will hurt or why it feels tender when I touch it. And we need to untangle the upper neck. This is essentially tangled, and that makes your lower neck compensate and do extra. Right there. But that's the cause. It's like two... I like the movie Batman with uh, Two Face. You know, one guy's one side of his face is all beat up, and the other side looks brand new. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. Now there's a little, there's a little mark here, but there's I, this would actually clean up much faster over here. But because he's never had been adjusted before, there's still going to be some, we call it plaque on your teeth. You know, the spine cleans itself through mobility, so when there's decreased mobility, the area will build up with lat inflammation. We call it imbibition. The tissue imbibes or washes itself through mobility. And um, well, Ed, I move. I go for a run. I move my neck around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're only doing it with a small percentage of your neck. <laughs> you follow me, right? So just activity is not what I'm talking about. People might say, "Well, I, I'm very active." That's not what I mean, <laughs> right? You're very active with 20% of your back, <laughs> but 80% of your back is not mechanically participating. So it's not just about being active and moving around. It's having your whole spine do it when you're active. That's what's important. All right, yeah, we're getting there. It's getting, it's getting subtle. My hand, my thumbs aren't killing me as much. <laughs> He's getting there. I mean, this, like, actually, like, this actually doesn't hurt so much, but that first few times I put your neck in this curved position, it was like sticking my thumb in concrete, like, ah, like, ow. I'm just checking, see if I get any more. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Very, very gentle. It's okay. See if I can get any more. Uh, uh, there it is. Good, yeah. Very nice. You okay? Mm -hmm. Feels great. Circulatory system has your heart pumping it, but your lymphatics, your sewer pipes, are all pumped by joint motion, muscle contraction, mm -hmm. relaxation. So when you have injuries, your body's all tight, right? And that blocks up the drainage. It's not a coincidence you've got this knot over here and that this was where the cyst you know, formed. There are no coincidences. <laughs> There's just correlations. I noticed there's different levels too. I've noticed that over the last couple of years, my pecs are at a different level. Yeah. Right. I hear you're saying like this is more contracted. Yeah. It's, it's, it's One size more contracted. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it can be. Yeah, like I said I would I would actually relay that ultimately to your neck tilt. Yep. <laughs> yes. That the left shoulder's higher, making the left pec pec appear higher, but it's really because Back you're. Back the shoulder. <laughs> it's still this. Yeah, 
as these ropes become less taut, they're not going to grind. Gr it's grinding because of the postural tension that these areas under and the the alignment you're in is ultimately due to your body's need to get away from this guy. And as your body doesn't feel the need to get away from it, you'll be able to be upright, the grinding will go away, and even the inflammation in between the scapula is ultimately from your lower neck, you know, pleading for help. <laughs> Somebody come help me, you know, take the stress off me. So I'm kind of going through your spine saying, can you help? <laughs> can you come to the aid and assistance of the lower neck? Can you wake up here a little bit and help out? When I started off the visit by hugging you and I was asking these bones to move, you know, not many of them moved well. And so we use the soft tissue work to kind of like PB Blaster or WD-40 <laughs> to work on the threads to loosen up the uh, adhesions that form in a joint. They found fairly quickly when a joint doesn't move, it builds up plaque, crystals, adhesions. Within 10 days, a joint can become frozen. And so essentially you have frozen middle back. You know, I know it's not something you can Google, or, <laughs> but that's my diagnosis. It's the, the chest cavity, because of the ribs, need to protect your organs, makes it easily, you know, very easily conducive for this area to become frozen. And then the areas adjacent, the lower neck, the lower back, become the only parts that actually do most of the work. And so the conversation we should have had at a young age is, how do we participate in keeping the thoracic cage mobile? You know, it, it's a cage, and so it's easy for it to become, you know, locked down. All right. All right. Oh, it's all moving. It's really what the shaw means. Gua means to comb. Shaw means redness is that scraping tool I use, but the shaw also can mean like sand. And when they first did this, they felt like that grit, that grainy kind of sand feeling. Yeah. Feels like they, adhesions underneath right there. Correct, you got it, yep. That's what they call the shaw, <laughs> is, is, is like this graininess. And to gua means to comb it out, to, to sweep it out of there. They used to foam roll to a point where it would be black and blue back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, you wanna, Leave the lower back alone. Try to make sure the lower neck isn't being involved. But yes, you want to beat up this area. When it gets this tight, though, it, you need a, a push. You need it. Need something to get the ball rolling so that you can keep it rolling with the stretching. When it gets this tight, it's hard to get it. You know, hard for the stretching to be very effective in and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, it needs a couple hours of just you know un unlocking it. This is where I usually start doing my Warner Brothers frog dance. Mm -hmm. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime girls. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. Stop, Ed. <laughs> if you refuse me, honey, you lose me. You said we can edit later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's entertaining you and himself. I was like, I would, this, do it. I would quit like a minute in. And then, like, I'm tired. I'm done. Well, this is pretty boring. It's boring because I, I have to sit here for like 30 minutes. I got to sit here for 20 minutes. It's so tangled. It's like a, it's like brushing someone's hair and it's just like getting stuck. Right. Sorry, you gotta sit there and. I'm just hoping she's taking notes over there. <laughs> it needs she she needs as much time as you can pour into this right shoulder. I don't. It's so tangled. I would first focus on that if you want to spend if you want to get the most bang for your buck. I believe most of it's going to come from that right side of his neck. Ultimately, that's what's creating this. But this does need to be worked on and untangled in and of itself. But look at all that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> His first adjustment is like it's not bad. I would say actually it's not too bad. First fifty-one years, whatever he made that was pretty good.
Right there's the epicenter. There it is, right there. Right there. I liken it sometimes my kid's bedroom, you know, you can't even see the stains in the carpet because there's clothes everywhere. And so you get to first pick up all the clothes before you can actually start seeing the mess that's underneath everything. And so, you know, it's kind of his back here as I start picking up everything. I'm like, oh, there it is. He had a yeah, buried underneath. You can see exactly where you are. That's, he's like right under there, under there. Harder. I know. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a stain, but he's got stuff over top of it. Yeah, I mean little bits, but not nearly. Yeah, not nearly what we find on the right. You know, I wonder though. <clears throat> you know, there's like I said, it's sometimes with this spine. I feel like on visit five, I get more marks than on visit one because he's so tight. It has to be like the walls have to be broken down before I can even get to the stuff underneath. I don't know. This is a suspicion, a suspicion I have. And it's getting worse, and more marks are coming out. No, it's just I'm finally getting to what's been buried. Right. You got all this stuff over top of it that was preventing me. You know, he's got uh, guarding on top that is preventing entry kind of idea, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, stuff I think about when I work on. I've worked on this model before, I feel like. <laughs> I've worked on this model spine before. I know this Porsche Boxster, whatever. Yeah, hey, I'm not a 911. <laughs> I've worked on this 911 before. I know this model. Don't compare my back to a car, please. Okay, whatever. All right. This would, uh, it's going to be left lower, it'll be left leg symptoms is the, is the future. <laughs> that's that's going to be the first thing that happens. It'll be left glute, left knee, but it's not. It's this guy. It's here. The problem's here on his right middle. For, so for future you, work here on him. <laughs> it's avoidance of his right middle back that's going to make the left lower back overwork. But it's because he doesn't like, he doesn't mind me compressing this on this side, but this side, the drawer doesn't shut properly on the right. He's been injured or something's happened right here that prevents this from gliding properly. <clears throat> so he's going to compensate and, and overwork the opposite lower. So it'll, to me it would be left glute, be left glute symptom would be the first thing that happens when this gets too tight, which we're not going to let happen because we're just going to keep this moving and so this, we'll never actually get there, but that would be. I'm going to put you on your side and twist you in a second. I wanted to check this joint. I haven't been adjusted before. I want to make sure the goal of the side posture when chiropractors twist people is to move the joint here in the glute called the sacroiliac joint. Mm -hmm. And we're not trying to move the lower back. The problem is the lower back is usually very loose and so it's like the kid in the front row of a classroom that wants to answer all the questions. <laughs> I know you know the answer, but I'm looking to the people in the back that are falling asleep. I want them to answer the questions and so I wanted to first check this joint before I went to adjust it. If you're wondering why I didn't side posture you, I didn't forget. <laughs> I wanted to check this first. Like right here, yeah. This, you let not, I don't like it. That. So I'm glad it's not causing any big problems, but that would be the 
This is because the right middle part of your back is too tight. This is where the work's going. Just wasting my time over here. <laughs> a little bit, the little guy right there. But uh, it's, it's gonna be left side. This is all supple, he doesn't use this as much. Everything's happening right on this knot. Look at that knot. The sciatic nerve goes through here, so as, mm -hmm. the, as the nerve travels down your leg, it's going to interact with this lump, <laughs> and that's what's going to irritate it. So keeping this clean here, which is dependent on this, it's still dependent. It's not its own boss. It's the boss of your, the middle back is its boss, and then the, <laughs> the upper neck is the boss of this. <laughs> so it's still the knot on the right upper side of your neck that's the cause. If you met my dad one day, it would all become clear. <laughs> He'd be much more dramatic. I'm more like, there's a huge knot on your right side of your neck. But <laughs> my dad, your dad had me crying. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was serious with my father when he was young, seeking health, help and health care. And so he's on the other end. So people are not serious with him. And so he's <laughs> super serious, right? Because he wished somebody would have been serious with him when he was in his 20s, when he sought help, and everybody was like, ah, oh, you're fine, uh, when he wasn't fine. And I so- wish, Yeah, I wish I knew these things when I was in my 20s. Right, and so he's he kind of compensates to the other extreme of, now I've been the prince, I've been able to grow up watching all this, and I haven't suffered like he suffered, and so I've tried to balance it somewhere in the middle, but I, that's, I try to explain to people, that's why he does that, okay? Nobody was serious with him. <laughs> Nobody sat him down and goes, look, you're going to have a massive problem in 10 years if you don't want you to take care of this. You know, nobody wanted to be mean and, you know. There it is, a little bit. Yep, good. Uh-huh, good. Greedy Dr. Ed wants more. I want more. Yeah, it just needs time. we got to hold pressure here. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. all right. All right, five round and build, there we go. Take a deep breath in, easy. I got you, not gonna fall, I promise. Nobody falls, I got you. There it is, yes, breathe. All right, fair enough. Other side. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. All right, good, okay. All right, you set up for me? Sure, don't worry. Yeah, so that's that. That's oh, yeah. where you're pointing on that yeah. knot. On well, that guy is where. Right up there, yeah. But this, this is like, you can see your knot. Yeah. Like, did you get a picture of that? That's actually. Sure that. Turn your neck a little bit, there you go. Yeah. That's the oh, yeah. like a ball, I'm just going to see it like a circle there, yeah. that knot there. Goes right it's, into there. It's making you want to do this, yeah. <laughs> which then makes this happen, right? It's because your eyes have to seek the horizon, and that's what's, and then because your head's tilted left, it pulls these cables. These cables are like the anchors, right? Mm -hmm. So because the head's going this way, this is like so desperately. <laughs> Let's try to get that pull up there then. That's it's what pull, like, happens it's, on the back then. Right, it's pulling yeah. from here. But it's because this is all bound up and, and your head's going away from it. Okay. That's creating that tug. Real easy. Let's go ahead and just look up for me. Go gently, slowly. See how that feels. I'm so curious to see, yeah, see how it feels. Is it any different at all? Or? Yep. I can go way farther. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I got this upper neck moving. Mm -hmm. Now the goal is we're going to maintain it. All right. Go ahead and tilt the head to the right for me a little bit. Tilt right, tilt right. Uh -huh, good. I got you. Tilt your head right. I find this helps to the sinuses and the drainage of your face goes down the behind your ear and go ahead and tilt head left. And then tilt your head left, tilt left. Okay, good.
really go nice here. These are slick socks, man. These are like super. Must be brand new or something. Huh? <laughs> they still got like the factory coating on them. <laughs> wow, you must stand in you. You stand up more on the side. Okay. Oh, I got you. Easy. Hey, good, nice, yeah. All right, come up with me right over here. I'll lay back from here. Do a little bit of right. So a little bit to the right, just right like that, perfect. To get a little bit more pressure on that right side. I wouldn't do that for more than a month, but just for about like a one month prescription, your head's gonna be over it and do a little bit of right rotation to get some extra pressure on that knot that's on the right side of his neck. You can put the TV to the right side of you. That makes sense to, to remind your spine, but if in doubt, just keep the head straight. But as a way to get, it's like a drawer. The drawer's open more on the right, so I don't wanna just push the drawer in crooked. Mm -hmm. I want to first level the drawer and then we push it in straight, right? Because the left side will actually go in faster than the right side because his left side is so loose, this will actually go in faster than this side. So I almost want to just almost leave the left side alone and get this side level first. It's so crooked at the top that we got to get the right side more pressure. So the makers of this say they would say just keep it in the center. I just find through my own care and years of doing this, I find it helps to go to the right a little bit, get it level, and then, but don't do it for like a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's popping on left now. It will, it will, <laughs> it'll go to the opposite side. So just for about one month, or unless I check you, just have your head to the right. But after about a month, then just have it straight. I bend the knees, and then arms above your head. Yep, easy, easy. Uh, this way, yep, I got you. There you go. Try to see if you can get the idea. We need to start pushing that chest in, right? So it's not just that his head's forward, it's that the chest is all rounded. Do you understand? So this has to come in as much as the head needs to come back. They, we call this couple motion. They both need to happen together. You know, we never really ever do this, right? So we have to start. Now, I don't want your lower neck pinching. That's why I have books behind your head. I'm, I'm worried that because of how loose his lower neck is, I don't want him overworking his lower neck. So that's why I put the blocks behind your head to limit lower neck bending. Once your upper back is bending, then we can start taking these out. It already feels better. Like it's going back and forth. Yeah. 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 Excellent. We already got the air out. Yeah. Yes, one more. Uh huh. Oh, there you go. Uh huh, one more. Chin down. Uh -huh, one day. One day. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, good. Yeah, nice. It's all closed. See, the left side's still closed from earlier. You understand? Yeah. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. That side still, I couldn't get any more because it was already fully closed, but the right side still had some more. <laughs> On there. How much more movement is to, to fully close that joint? No. So, yeah, I guess good. See, I feel, I feel like getting it, yeah. Yeah. I can definitely tell there's not the pain back there that was before. You're not, you're not just bending in the lower neck anymore. And the goal is to maintain that. This, this device should be is the only thing I know that has any hope of maintaining that. Otherwise, your body goes back to old habits. Mm -hmm. You want to maintain it, try to find, there is a website on there that has guys that know about it. Come down to Sarasota for a month, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Right, appreciate that it. That was great.